This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, TX Burger, and RV Source. Well, it's time for the TX Burger Burger of the Week, and this week we are in Eagle Pass, about 100 yards from the border of Mexico, at a place I'm told has got the best burgers on the border, Border Burger. When you find yourself on the boundary of our big old state, be sure to hit the brakes and make a beeline for the closest burger. They're just really good. The first place to get a bite to eat once you cross over into the States is here. Butter burger. Vilma Sanchez has been running this Eagle Pass establishment for 20 years. My burgers are the best. It was very good food over here in Eagle Pass. In fact, these burgers are so good, they're internationally renowned. But it's not just the burgers that people go bonkers for. Being this close to the border, you can probably guess what their other big seller is. The tacos. They're the best ever. I like over here the tacos, the Mexican tacos. The Mexican tacos. Gotta have that right here. On the oh, they're, they're delicious. <laughs> the best in town. I'm sold. We snuck on into the kitchen to meet Beto. Beto and Border Burger. Yes, sir. It's a alliteration right there. Uh, yeah. Beto hails from Piedras Negras, just across the river. For 18 years, he's been making an international commute to make some much sought after comida. What are we cooking today? Yeah, jalapeno burger. Jalapeno burger. With oh. bacon on it. With bacon? Yes, sir. We need a fancy name for it. Uh, jalapeno burger. <laughs> Beto keeps things simple and starts off with two patties with no seasoning. What kind of meat? It's 100% uh, meat. Is the beef 80-20 or is it 70-30? No, it's 70-20. Uh, 7-30? No, 7-20. We're just going to roll with it. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit nervous because I've never been doing this before with <laughs> nobody. This is my first time. No problemo. Beto throws a bun on the grill, then jalapenos, onions, and bacon. It's safe to say things move briskly oh, okay. at Border Burger. Three to four minutes to make a burger. Nice. You got to do things fast on the border. Yes, sir. So you can make a run for the border, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's a good one right there. <laughs> Once the bacon is done, it literally goes from the frying pan into the fryer. Now I'm just going to get the bacon, put it a little bit here for Woo! a couple of minutes. That's a little secret. Yes, sir. I've never seen bacon put in a fryer. That takes all the grease on it, off of it. Yeah, I'm sure. I can tell you that, 100%. <laughs> cheese is placed on the patty. Sliced oh. cheese, 100% American. And mustard is put on the bun. That's left on the grill for the great buildup. So you're dressing the bun on the grill? Yes, sir. Keeping it hot? Yes, sir. Perfect. The burger is given a bow, but we're not done yet. One more thing you need. What's that? Tacos. Of course. Red and yellow tortilla. Let's do it. 100%. <laughs> Beto fries up the tortillas, puts the house-made meat mix in the middle, and garnishes. Homemade. Perfect. Can't beat a taco by the border. No, sir. Awesome. 100%. Tacos, burgers, I'm going to be stuffed. Thanks, sir. Don't, Beto, my eyes. Don't cry, don't cry. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a nice burger and nice tacos, but don't cry. I'm excited. Don't be. Oh. Hold your tears for a couple of minutes. Okay. Smile okay. to the camera. Okay. Don't cry. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure, you can't beat this view. Wow. All right, so do we start with tacos or burgers? Oh, we gotta start with the burger. So, it is, oh, hot. Oh my gosh. Wow, very, very warm. Beto was not messing around with that. We go ahead and open this thing up and look at it. It is just, man, it's hot. Woo, give it a few minutes. Well, I can tell you one thing, the burger smells incredible. You almost get that sense of the seasoned taco meat in that burger. You can just smell it on there. Of course, the one big question, how does it taste? It's a fiery fiesta in three, two, one. Woo, there's quite a bite down here on the border. It's just really good, it's original. I mean, everything's homemade. Wow, man, wow, woo. Boy, these jalapenos got a kick. It's definitely bueno. The best in town. The burger's a great combination of kind of a 50s diner and a taco shack by the border. It's got a little spice, but it's got that classic flavor that you come to expect when it comes to a burger. Of course, when you're this close to our friends to the south, you gotta have a taco. Something tells me this is gonna crunch. 
Now that's well worth a stop. Can you hear that? <laughs> Very crunchy. Get ready to plug your ears. Mm. Oh. Well, it's hard to find tacos like that. Wow. Just like something grandma will cook. So, uh, beef tacos, very, very good. My recipe. Sure. <laughs> well, if you're ever passing through Eagle Pass and you happen to be by the border, the Border Burgers lower the stop on the Texas bucket list for burgers and tacos. Mm. Mm. I don't think you guys have salads. Yeah, we do. Oh, oh. Yeah, we can make the taco salad, we can make the grilled salad, we can make a grilled chicken salad. I stand corrected. 100%.